Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to the morning briefing. I am here at the border crossing into the United States. Looks like I've got another 20 minutes or so to go. It's really, really early. Yesterday, I got stranded down here because the borderline was well over six hours. It was brutal. And uh, so I decided to hang a U-turn, go back to El Capitan Resort in Puerto Nuevo, and then bring you all the latest. Hey, so well, I say good morning to you and welcome you to the morning briefing. I'm going to switch this camera around so you can all see what I'm looking at. And then I'll get you caught up on some very exciting fishing. Good morning, everybody. It is time for the morning briefing. All right. I don't want to be doing the morning briefing when I get up there to the gate or they're not going to be very pleased with me. But let's get into it. Day at the docks looked like a fabulous day yesterday. So many of my buddies and friends were there, and I'm so sorry I couldn't get across the border. I should have planned better. There's no doubt about it. All right, so we've got some exciting stuff to talk about. On board the Polaris Supreme yesterday, after catching 18 bluefin tuna offshore, down there at about 150, 60 miles from Point Loma, so way out of day and a half range right now. But down there, they had 18 bluefin, a lot of it, 40 to 60 pound stuff, didn't have any of the really, really big stuff. However, they went into Colinette on their way home. Paul Fanning was on board that trip and was keeping me up to date. And they ended up with over 110 yellowtail. I'm sure their final score will be up here shortly, but they had spectacular fishing. This comes on the heels of a great trip down to Colinette. Now that's 120 miles day and a half range. Easy for the San Diego Bay's boats and the Liberty had limits of those bottom fish down there and limits of yellowtail. So they had reds and all kinds of stuff. Eric Weezer was the guy who tuned me all up on that and got me up to date. And man, Eric sounds like he had an absolutely fantastic trip. So that is really good news. Those yellows are biting the yo-yo iron. You don't want to fish it with anything less than 60 pound. And man, just turn the handle as fast as you can. And that's exactly how you are going to set the hook also. Now, one observation that I've been making with you, and that is coming from Mike McDaniels from the Sea Adventure 80, that the water tip is eight degrees cooler this year than it was at this time of the year last year. So whether that's going to have something to do with slowing our bluefin tuna bite or bringing us out of core, well, that's all going to play out in the coming weeks and months, and that should be totally interesting. As you can see, I'm stopped here at the border. The borderline this morning, I can see up there to the gate. Looks like I'll have about a total of two hours here, which is a heck of a lot better than yesterday. I got to the border at 4.30, and it is uh, 5.30 right now. I don't know if you can see that. It's not focusing on that. 5.18 to be exact. So um, I am still here goofing around. All right. There's some more squid starting to be made. Elsewhere, we're seeing squid being taken in the uh, islands up there around Clemente and Catalina and Santa Barbara and the Channel Islands in general. Hopefully, we're going to see somebody crank out a big sea bass score here one of these days very, very soon. Um, that water temp for those sea bass is really starts to click when it's 60 degrees. Doesn't mean you can't catch them, as Bob Elliott already proved a couple of weeks ago, as he had five big slug sea bass, and those private guys continue to catch some fish. Sport boats, though, uh, they'll scratch them. Boats like the Pride are going to start getting them, and along with some halibut. But for the most part, we need that water temp to get to 60. And then above that, like 64, 65 is great. Those sea bass settle and bite really, really good when you get that. All right. Um, still, we are not into rockfish season. That opens up in the USA on April the 1st. So not that far away from that happening. In the meantime, boats like the Pursuit at Catalina Island enjoying whitefish and sheepshead. Same thing up there in the Channel Island areas. Boats like the Island Tack have been doing really, really well. It's been some really great fishing for those species and also some wintertime bass continue to bite. All right, my friends, I'm gonna keep my eyes on the road here as we make our way up to the USA, getting very close now, 
And then I'm off to San Diego this morning to interview some more captains down there and, of course, bring you those interviews a little bit later today. All right, have a great day. Kind of a weird morning briefing, right? Pretty much you're looking at the back of a car this whole time. But it is what it is, my friends. Have a great one, and I will see you soon.